Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to walk through the complete process of installing a Red Hat satellite server. Before we begin, let's take a look at different kinds of installation of satellite. First, there is a connected installation. This is when your satellite server has direct access to the internet to sync content like RPM packages and container images. Then there is a disconnected installation, which is for air gapped environments that have no internet access, content is transferred to the server manually. For this video, we will focus on the connected installation method. A successful installation starts with the right foundation. Here are the prerequisites we need to have in place before we begin. A subscription. You need a satellite subscription. If you don't have one, you can easily request an evaluation subscription from Red Hat for testing and learning purpose. System resources. We will be using a system with at least 20 GB of RAM, 4 GB of web space and 4 vCPUs running at 2.0 GHz or more. A fresh RHEL 9 system. Our server is a newly installed RHEL 9 system with no custom hardening or modification. It is recommended by Red Hat. For this lab, we are using a RHEL 9 VM running on KVM. Admin access. You will need sudo or root access to run commands. Internet access. We will need a stable internet connection for our connected installation. DNS and name resolution. We need to set up both forward and reverse DNS resolution for our server's fully qualified domain name. Alright, now let's get into the practical part. As discussed, I am installing satellite on a RHEL 9 VM running on KVN. It's freshly installed RHEL 9 system without any hardening. We will be following the official document for connected installation. I will search for install satellite 6.17 on Google. Open the link. Here choose the installing satellite in a connected network environment. Select format as single page. First we will prepare the host for installation. System requirements we have already discussed. Now let's do the IP and host name configuration and make an entry in etc host file for name resolution. I will set the host name to satellite.example.com. Now let's check the network and IP configuration. In my system IP is already configured. I will check if it's able to reach google.com. We will also make sure the system can resolve its host name by adding an entry to etc host file. Let's test it by running simple ping command. Our host and network is ready. Let's move further in the document. This is the storage requirements. You can follow and refer to for more information. If you have slash temp mounted on a separate partition or drive, then make sure it is mounted with exec and not no exec. If it is no exec, then change it to exec. SC Linux should be enforcing. Supported operating system is RHEL 9 and architecture is x86-64 as discussed. These ports should be whitelisted in the firewall of satellite. Now let's add these ports. Make the changes persistent. If there is a proxy between satellite and Red Hat CDN, then whitelisted these URLs. Now let's register our system with Red Hat. This gives us access to all the required RPM repositories for installation. 
as you can see our system is registered with red hat next we need to disable all the default rel repositories to avoid any conflicts let's disable by running subscription manager repos disable star star means all repositories as you can see all the repositories has been disabled for this system now let's enable the specific repositories that we need for satellite this includes the base os app stream and the satellite and maintenance repos for version 6.17 Let's verify that the correct repositories are enabled. As you can see, the repositories are enabled. Before installing the satellite software package, first upgrade the system, which is highly recommended. Let's run dnf upgrade command. It will take 5 to 10 minutes rather than waiting I will skip this part and take you to the end of the packages installation command as our system is updated successfully Now for the main event we will install core satellite packages using dnf command It will also take few minutes I will skip it as the satellite packages are installed now finally run the satellite installer command this com this is the main script that handles all the configurations we select installation scenario as satellite and we will provide a few key details like the initial organization location and the username and password for our first admin user i will copy this command and will modify it a little will change the organization and location name to demo will change the username to admin and password to red hat now let's run this command It will take 10 to 20 minutes depending upon the hardware. I will skip this part and take you to the screen after the successful installation. Now the installation is completed and we have got the login URL. Navigate to that URL in web browser. now login using the same username and password we set in the installer there you have it our red hat satellite server is successfully installed and running you are now ready to begin managing your rel systems you may get the ssl certification error which is normal since satellite uses self signed certificates by default Let's accept the certificate to continue. In our next video, we will show you how to import manifests and start syncing content from Red Hat and manage your first host. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.